let's talk. Hey you guys, this is Ashley Morgan from BadassTraining.com. Today I want to talk to you about overtraining. There's a misconception in the fitness community that in order to see results you have to work super hard every freaking day. Every damn day. Western logic tells us that working really hard is going to equal really great results. May I share with you a parable? There's a partially opened window and a fly that wants to get out of the partially opened window. The fly works really, really hard, trying and trying to fly out of the window. Meanwhile, there's a spider. The spider just simply crawls out of the window and is free. The fly eventually dies and the spider goes outside and lives his life going in and out of the window as he pleases. Hard work doesn't always equal success. Sometimes in order to be successful, you have to do the right thing. So if you're doing something over and over and over again, and you're working really, really, really hard, but you're not seeing a result, then it's time to change your approach. So maybe instead of just running into the glass, you need to find an open window. I call the strategy strategic laziness. Basically, you just do what you need to do in order to reach your goal and you don't do anything else. The key to being successful with strategic laziness is to monitor your outcomes. But you tweak something in your program. In this case, we're talking about weight loss. You are consistent with that change for a week or two weeks or however long and then you measure the change. So for weight loss, you would weigh yourself you know, at the beginning, you would make a change, you would do that for about a week, then you would measure your progress. If you've lost weight, your change worked, and hopefully it's, you know, less work than what you were doing before because you were probably, like, beating yourself into the ground, which was unnecessary. That's how strategic laziness works. It's just being smart about what you're doing, and when something isn't working, change it. Okay, totally unrelated to what we were just talking about. Yesterday, I ran into this lady. Basically, she had like a super sad story. I just wanted to share it because I feel like a lot of people can relate. I guess I'm in sort of a parable type of mood today. So anyways, I meet this lady and she had put on a whole bunch of weight after being diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Basically, she gained 200 pounds within like a six month period. Her skin completely stretched out, completely changed. She's now healthy and has lost all the weight that she gained and in my opinion, looked great. But she's very, very unhappy with her body because she has loose skin and there's not really too much she can do about that. When I spoke with this lady within two or three minutes of talking to her, she actually burst into tears. And even though I can totally appreciate where she's coming from because she had no control over what happened to her body, it just made me think, why is what you look like the most important thing to you right now? And I wanted to share this because really in the grand scheme of things, we're all going to get old and withered and you know, not be like the most beautiful. And at the end of the day, what really matters is how healthy you are and how how well you can get around in your day to day and the experiences you have. So, I mean, I don't even know if I'll ever see that lady again, but if for some reason you see this video, I just want to encourage you to one, be really, really glad that you actually overcame a pretty serious disease and two realize that looks aren't everything loose skin isn't everything being skinny isn't everything and just learn to let go of that baggage because life is too awesome to hold on to it so anyways i know that got a little bit deep and emotional but hey it's what I believe. It's really important. Like this video, share it with your friends, post it on your social media sites. I will talk to you soon, babes. Love ya. About down came the 